Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Microsoft Store error code 0x87E10BCF that you are experiencing when you're attempting to utilize the Microsoft Store built into Windows 10 or Windows 11. So when you're prompted with this error message, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, the little search icon. So all you have to do is start by opening up the magnifier icon and type in WS Reset. Best result should come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and open that up. Just give it a moment here. This is basically resetting the Microsoft Store, so just please be patient. And now at this point, you should be able to enter back into the Microsoft Store successfully. You shouldn't have any of that problems that you were experiencing before. One further thing you can try here as well is after restarting your computer, attempt to launch the app again. And if it's still not working, make sure that you are signed into your Microsoft account. So if you actually were to open up the Microsoft Store here, make sure you are signed in. So this may look a little bit different depending on the version of the Microsoft Store you're using. But in this version, there's a little circle icon with a profile that says sign in. Make sure you're signed in properly. So again, double check on that. And then finally, if you close out of here, if you're having a problem with an individual application within the Microsoft Store, you can open up the search menu, type in apps and features. Best result should come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. And now if you download the app perhaps and it's a local program on your computer, you can attempt to reset it from this page as well. So for example, let's say you're having an issue with any one of these applications. So let's just, for example, say the mail and the mail and calendar, click the little three dotted icon next to it, and then select advanced options. At this point, if you scroll down, you can select the reset option. If the app isn't working right, you can try and repair. The app's data will not be affected. So go ahead and you can select the repair option. And you can also attempt to reset it and the app's data will be deleted. So if you have the ability to make a backup copy of it, make sure it's backed up to the cloud, for example, but you can go ahead and try and reset it as well. And like the warning that I just read out to you, and this is a little bit more, it just says that this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Go ahead and select Reset. And then hopefully at that point, again, I would suggest you guys reset your computer. So I'm actually going to go ahead and demonstrate that because, you know, some of you guys, number one, don't know how to reset your computer. And number two, if you don't see me do it, you might not actually do it on your end. So I know for most of you guys that should be pretty obvious, but you know, for some viewers they seem to have that issue. But I would recommend resetting your computer at a couple different intervals, like I mentioned through this video. But at least if you got it done this time, you know, when I'm actually showing it here on the screen, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.